Hi everyone, this is Face from Geekar and in this video I'm going to show you how you can execute JavaScript code from ASP.NET Core backend using Node services. So I guess not many people are familiar with this awesome feature of .NET Core but ASP.NET team is actively maintaining this package under the project name JavaScript services. Uh, so if you go to www.github.com slash ASP.NET slash JavaScript services under the source folder you can actually see here we have three packages one is node services dot sockets uh, node services and spa services in this video or in this tutorial I'm going to use node services to execute some JavaScript code from C Sharp backend. Uh, so if you want to know more about this node services package, you can actually read this readme.md file here. Uh, and if you want to contribute to this package, you can actually fork it, then make some pull request. Uh, so let's get back to the code, right? I have already set up a demo application here. This is an bareborn mvc asp.net core project so in order to use node services in this project i have to install it via nuget so i'm going to search for node services here and i'll install it from here so once it is installed i'll have to configure it in the configure services of startup.cs file i'll say services dot add node services and we are pretty much done now i can use node services in my project so uh, let me create a new folder here called node where all of my javascript code will go so let me create a javascript file under this node folder so i'll say javascript here okay i'll say for the sake of a simple example i'll say i'll name this file add.js and add it okay so my file is added now i'll have to of course create a uh, create a function which will add two variables and return the result in my c sharp backend code uh, in order to do this uh, i actually have to export this function via a module so let me show you how so i'll create a javascript module and say exports if i only can write exports right then I'll say this actually returns a function which accepts a callback and two variables. Then I'll store the result of this uh, summation of these two variables in another variable. I'll say var result is equal to a plus p. Then I'll have to return this result in this via this callback so i'll say callback then i'll say null because uh, the first parameter of this callback is the error callback uh, which in this case i am sending null uh, and the second one is the success callback which in this case i'll say i'll send with the result so uh, and I'm pretty much done now. I have to call this function from my C sharp code So I'll go to this home controller dot CS. Let me create a new uh, Action method here. I'll say public I action result then I'll I'll name it at okay uh, Now I'll have to inject the node services in this action method to do that. I can simply say uh, get the node services from services and I'll say I node services uh, it will ask me to add the using statement so I'll 
uh, say using Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot no services uh, as you can see here so let me name it uh, node uh, services okay right and now I'll have to uh, store the result of those two variables in this C sharp code so I'll say var result is equal to I'll use the node services then I'll say the as you can see there are four methods uh, one is invoke invoke async invoke export invoke export async so I'll show you both of these uh, um, methods uh, that is invoke async and invoke exports async uh, but let me first start with the invoke async method first so this invoke async method takes the type of the result which will be uh, returned back from the JavaScript file so in this case I am passing two integer type variable to my JavaScript add.js function and it will uh, return the summation in uh, integer format so I'll get it as an integer so now I'll have to write the uh, or should I say uh, uh, write the name of the module so it is under the note folder and it is named add then I'll pass two variables uh, like uh, 9 and then 5 it should return 14 right so uh, let me just return the result as a JSON uh, okay so I'm pretty much done the one thing I missed is uh, this invoke async is a asynchronous method so I'll have to add a await function here await keyword here and if I add a await keyword here I also have to add the async keyword here and if this is a async it should return a task so I'll have to do this wrap this iasync result uh, in task so i'm pretty much done let's run the application right now and see if it is working so once the application is running i can simply go to okay it is taking too much time let's wait for a bit okay it is uh, done uh, let me go to the home controller then execute the add action let me place a breakpoint here so here I'll say add okay yeah, it hits the breakpoint uh, okay so I got the result uh, and the result is 14 right and I'll return the result as a JSON format so as you can see here I have the have the result which is 14 so this is uh, very simple uh, but uh, let me use uh, a npm package uh, called lodash uh, it is the most shared package on npm uh, it is actually used for data manipulation uh, you can use link in C sharp to actually manipulate data but for the sake of this uh, really silly example I'm gonna use Lodash so in order to do that first I have to initialize npm here uh, I can do that do that by simply running my command prompt here then I'll go to my desktop where I created the demo for project and I'm in the demo project and now I'm gonna initialize the npm so npm init take the all default flag okay so as you can see it creates a packages.json file so I'll say show all file so okay where it is where it is mm missing in action I guess 
so let me not bother with that just uh, add a at the low dash npm package here so i'll say npm install then say low dash and then say save okay so it will install the lotus package in my project mm, da -da -da, da -da -da. okay i'm done now let me create a new file here i'll say new item and I'll, again this is our javascript file and let me call it lodash okay uh, this will be a module function and this will exports uh, previously we used the we attach the function direct to do directly to the module but in this case uh, I want to create an an object which will be returned uh, in my C sharp code and I'll define a function in this object so as you can see by doing this you can actually create a uh, many many functions here uh, so I'll just use the sort by function of lodash so I'll create a function called sort by then uh, define the function pass the callback and send the data here and also send some options here the option will be used to send the field on which we will actually sort the data so let me now uh, create a result variable again then say um, use the lodash sort by function in order to sort the data here and just use the option here so i'm pretty much done now i'll have to call the callback again here and pass null for the first error callback and then for the second success callback function i'll say the result but uh, my javascript file uh, is not uh, really understanding this underscore uh, keyword here it is actually used for lodash so in order to make sure it is actually uh, getting the lodash uh, keyword uh, i'll have to add this so i'll say var then i'll require i'll say i require this package called lodash so once it is done uh, you can actually now see it is a lodash uh, variable reference variable i should say and if you just press a dot uh, as you can see here are uh, other methods from lodash unzip unset uh, unzip with update whatever i'm just gonna use this sort by function here so now I have to create a new function here again but uh, this will be a bit different uh, again I'll name it sort action uh, and this is okay but now I'm gonna uh, execute a function that is returned in an object so in order to do that I'll have to use the invoke export async function so it will return a list of data so let me first create a, a type which i will use to create a list of data here so let me create a public class i'll say user data then say it contains two properties one is name and another one is age so I'll sort the data uh, on this age field but first I have to create the list right so I'll say var users or I should say data is equal to new users 
array of user then I'll say new I'll push some data really fast here let me do it name is equal to fizzy uh, then I'll say my age is uh, 25 uh, it's actually a assignable variable assignable operator which is this one right here then I'll copy paste this for a few times and then I'll change this change this age variable values so first I push 25 then I'll say 12 then I'll say 48 and then I'll say 5 my lucky number so it should return me back this data as uh, sorted by this age field so I should get the data as 5 12 25 48 right so let me um, uh, say it's the low dash module again and I'll use the sort by function because remember we send the uh, function in an object so the w we are getting the function by its key in this object so here if you see this is actually the key is the sort by so I'm pretty much done now I have to send this data variable right in this parameter first parameter and it should uh, uh, sort the data on the age field so I'm passing the age as this option right here so I should get my result here and if I run this project now and go to localhost colon the port number slash home slash sort I should get the sorted uh, data so I'll say sort let me put a breakpoint right here and I'll enter this okay I hit the breakpoint uh, okay so okay so I'm getting an error that is saying unexpected character encountered while parsing the value so I didn't pass the actual return type here so let me close it the actual return type will be the area of users right so again I'm gonna run this finger crossed okay Da, 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 da. okay now going to home then sort uh, now we should get the result here and as you can see we have four result here I'll show you this as a JSON and ta -da! as you can see this data is now sorted on the age field uh, here we have 5 12 25 48 and that's it uh, that is how you can use the node services package in your ASP.NET Core project in order to use some uh, JavaScript code uh, use or should I say execute some JavaScript code uh, in your C sharp backend right uh, so that's it mm. I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Uh, Ta-ta.